I've been keeping up this fucking cool guy persona for so long. I'm now throwing it all away. Austin's gonna kick me off a globe tomorrow, the day this fucking comes out. <laughs> Most people know Christian Malou for his insane pop and kickflips. As a skater for Weekend and Globe, I was aware of his skating but didn't know he was a secret collectibles nerd. As someone who also has a soft spot for 90s toys, we ventured to a collectible convention to revisit our childhoods. What area are we going to? Frank and, Frank and Sons, collectible show. The homie Kyle from Brain Dead was just telling me I needed to check it out when he when he heard that I was kind of an action figure geek. As far as I know, it's some kind of a swap meet where we can find some new and old and cool shit. How often do you smoke? Does my mom follow Jenko? I joined a club, a Mandalorian club where they have to inspect it and approve of your shit before they let you in, so being a fucking super nerd. Oh, my pants are too baggy. I don't like fanning out on different worlds and IPs or whatever. I like just to feel like I'm in it. So like seeing a guy with a shirt with like Batman's face on it is lame to me. Like I'd rather see a guy in a Batman suit. I don't have that, I have that, I don't have that, I don't have that, I have that, 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 I don't have that. Thank God you're married. <laughs> yeah, I'd have no fucking chance otherwise. So when, when, when I moved from London to the States, my favorite toy was an X-Men Gambit action figure, and I think I lost it in my grandparents' house, and it just, it just gutted me. It was like, the hardest part about moving to the United States for me was not having that one toy. But we'll, we'll find one today, maybe. A ladle signed by the soup Nazi. That's pretty sick. I won't be rich she yet. died in a car accident. No, the yeah. It's crazy. They made the Asian one yellow. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They really did that. These Simpsons ones are sick that they don't have regular Lego heads. They have Simpsons heads. Oh uh, yeah, look, they replaced her with a, with a Karen. They replaced her with a blonde chick. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, we're getting the wife some presents right now. What are your most popular items, sir? What franchise? Transformers Prime and Animated. Beast Wars is super sick. That's usually the old school guys. Ouch. Someone yeah. asked if I was 40 the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, they're dead now. <laughs> This aisle looks like sports, fuck that. I'm not buying a tech deck until they, I have one. Are you good at tech deck? No, I suck. I mean, I'm not even good at skateboarding. I got like five tricks on a regular board. Oh, that's my friend though. You know Jason? I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I skated for his company for a long time. It's not like somebody else, like Bam Margera, there's Jeremy and Heath. Oh, I like how he's got these organized. He's got them organized by characters that fucking hang out together. That is so cool. Just a Luke Skywalker. It's mellow. This one has the lightsaber. Thank God. This guy has it in storage. And he said he'll track it down and hit me up. But if you look, the gambit I'm looking for. Yeah, the, the original Uncanny X-Men gambit. He has one but in storage, so he'll get back to me. So that's it for Frank and Sons. Thanks for bringing me. This is my new favorite place, and I'll be back next Wednesday, because I'm gonna get that gambit. So we got Luke Skywalker, we got Dana Scully, and we got Spooky Fox Mulder. I 
didn't really have any expectations, so they're all met because they had some really sick shit. Oh wait, there's an anime toy place right across the street. That's crazy. <laughs> you really need more toys? Yeah, we haven't had enough. <laughs>